Hey, Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball, and today we've got another NBA Shooting Secrets. This time, it's Isaiah Thomas edition. All right, so the thing that I really love about Isaiah Thomas is he's not very tall, and he's probably like a lot of you guys out there. Um, so he's really optimized his mechanics to be able to hit tough shots and also get great elevation on his jumper. So we're going to talk about a few key mechanics that you can try to add to your game, and maybe it'll increase your shooting percentage as well. So. Let's jump right into it. So the first thing that really stood out to me on Isaiah Thomas's jumper is his feet sweep. Meaning that as he begins to jump on his shot, his feet sweep forward instead of landing in the exact same place that he took off from. By sweeping his feet forward, he can generate a little bit of extra power and rhythm into his jump shot, and something that as a smaller player can help you out a ton. Now I still hear a ton of coaches and shooting coaches say that you have to land in the exact same spot that you jump from, and that's just simply not true, especially if you're a smaller player that needs to get more momentum into the basketball. Now that's not to say that it's impossible to shoot if you land in the same spot that you jump from, but you have to remember that the body works together and one little tweak at the beginning or at the end can make all the difference. Now one thing I did notice when I was doing research is I found out that Isaiah Thomas doesn't sweep his feet near as much if he's shooting mid-range jump shots. So generally for mid-range, unless he's shooting off of a move with separation, he's going to go straight up and straight down on his jumper. So this is a huge clue that tells me that his feet sweep are probably a massive part of the reason why he can shoot from long range even though he has a smaller body. So if you're having trouble adding that range to your jumper, try adding a feet sweep and see if that helps you out. Next, I really, really love and want to talk about Isaiah Thomas's triple extension. By this, we're talking about his lower body mechanics, specifically his three main joints. So the idea is that instead of using just your knees or just your hips to generate the power into your jumper, instead you can use all three joints working together to get that extra lift. So here are a few keys to getting triple extension. Number one, you want your heels off of the ground. This is going to ensure that your ankles are locked, loaded, and ready to spring with the rest of your body. Next, you want your knees flexed. Now, you don't need your knees bent all the way to 90 degrees like a lot of people talk about. You can still get great pop with just a very slight knee flex. And number three, you want your shoulders tilted slightly forward. That way, you're flexing your hips so they're ready to spring into the jumper as well. Then all you have to do is extend all three joints simultaneously, and you're going to get perfect pop and rhythm into your jumper. So let's watch again and check out in this next clip how all three joints are flexing and then extending together to give them that perfect pop. It's amazing if you use all three together, how much pop you can actually get with not that much flex in each joint. So keep your heels up, flex your knees, and keep your chest moving forward just slightly. That way you get that triple extension into your jumper. And remember, everybody's different, so it might take a little while to find that perfect flex for you. All right, now let's talk about his release timing. Now we talked about his lift and how he gets such great lift, but what really is important off of this is when he releases the ball. So notice that he times his release to where he lets go of the ball as his feet are just beginning their sweep forward. Because of this, it perfectly times the momentum from his lower body into his upper body and through the basketball. You also notice that this happens right at or before the apex of his jump. This means that he's timing his release before he's beginning his way back down to the floor. So for shorter players like Isaiah, this release timing is incredibly important because number one, you gotta be able to shoot over taller defenders so you need that lift. Number two, you need to maximize that momentum because you're smaller to get the ball to the basket. So work on timing your release with your sweep and you just might see some incredible results. All right, don't forget if you learned a little something, hit that like button and then go to the comments down below and leave a comment and let me know whose shot you wanna see broken down next. Again, this is a channel for the people by the people and I run pretty much everything off a of request, so leave it down below. And if you're new to Shot Mechanics, you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button down below. That way you get all of our videos as soon as they come out. We put a ton out every single week, and they're all going to get you better. You're also going to want to click this button up here or the link in the description for mobile viewers to get a free copy of my guard circuit training workout. This is by far my favorite workout, and it's going to absolutely increase your scoring average the very first time you use it. So if you're looking to get more buckets, I highly recommend checking that out. And it's free. All right, again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thank you so much for watching. Splash on.